So this is about this is about season of discovery. Now I'm not exactly sure what's gonna happen with season of discovery. I'm excited, but I want to see where it evolves. We'll watch the video of Stay Safe talking about it. I'm kind of curious to hear what he has to say. What is up, guys? Stay Safe here. So I wanted to sit down and try to pump out a quick video talking about my yeah. thoughts on the upcoming season of Mastery Classic WoW season discovery, servers. Yeah that are coming out on November 30th. I'm sure you all heard about that at BlizzCon a couple days ago, yeah. in which we will be playing what is effectively a modified version of Vanilla WoW or Classic WoW with a new rune-based talent system, new abilities. It's new basically Classic Plus. Spells, progressive level caps all along the way to level 60, starting at level 25. And then I think they said it'll be 40, 50, and 60 at most. Mm -hmm. um, and also retrofitted raids with new mechanics. They're turning Black Fathom Deeps, the iconic Classic WoW Vanilla Dungeon, into yeah. a... 10-man raid at level 25, in addition to some new world PvP content. So I'd like mm -hmm. to start things off by acknowledging that this is a very experimental way to approach Classic WoW, and you have to give your hat, you have to take your hat off, figuratively. If I did that in real life, I would reveal my balding head. Yeah. But you got to take your hat off and give it to the Classic WoW dev team. They're going out on a limb here. but a They definitely are, and you know, we'll see if the limb breaks. I'm not sure. The result of that is we've seen sort of two camps of people right now in regards to this Season of Discovery situation. Either you love it and you love, love, love it, or you hate yeah. it and you hate, hate, hate it. That seems to be the case with what I've observed. I'm going into it with a very big amount of skepticism. And I think the concerns that I have are legitimate. Like I've talked about before how like Classic WoW is good because every class isn't complete and they need other classes to complete them and i'm not sure necessarily if uh if season of discovery is going to just kind of remove that problem and i think that's a good problem they aren't even testing it yeah and so i just want to see it i'm in the hate 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 camp well i want them to try everything like and and again all of my hesitation and everything about it none of that outweighs the potential excitement that i could have for it either even with all of these problems. Observed checking all different sorts of uh, all yeah. the far reaches of the internet. Speaking of which, if you take a look at the classic subreddit where a lot of classic WoW community discourse goes down, those people on the subreddit seem to unanimously love it. They're huge proponents of these changes. Most people are. Whereas, if you look at the official classic WoW, the Battle.net classic WoW forums, people are pissed. They let's be fair these are aggregated primarily by the the being the top posts that have the most interactions and the most people talking about them this does not necessarily mean that the comment that was made at the beginning is the resounding opinion it could also just simply mean that this is a person who is expressing an extremely strong opinion and people are reacting to it it's important to keep that in mind. Hate it. And so it is interesting observation, interesting to, to note that over here in this sort of echo chamber, I guess, everyone loves it. And over here in this alternative echo chamber, people are super angry about yeah. it and it's nonstop vitriol. But because Everybody I was curious, to their own echo I chamber. took That's to Twitter to see how people felt. And so I conducted a poll asking people how they feel about the upcoming season yeah, I of voted Discovery in this announcement. Poll. And here are the results. Now we have yeah, over like 3,800 yeah. people that voted in this Twitter poll I conducted. It was a 24 hour long sample size or 24 hour long poll. So people had an entire day to respond. 64.8 of the respondents. Now I will have to say that Stay Safe's audience is primarily classic WoW players, but it is not entirely classic WoW players. So by polling people, um, and asking people, are you excited for Season of Discovery? There could be people who aren't even excited for Classic to begin with, who might be voting. So, you know, it, it, it's hard to be 100% certain, but I do think that I would say, I think 70 to 80% of people are positive for Season of Discovery. I think it's much higher, but there's also Classic Andes, yeah. ...said that they are excited for it, whereas 35 0.2% of people that responded said that they are not excited. So it's almost two to one ratio, almost two to one odds. Mm -hmm. um, but definitely you can observe it's not unanimous. It's two to one. 
Um, yeah. You know, more people are excited than not excited, but is it like 90-10 or 99-1? No, this is a little bit divisive, and there most certainly is a split oh, yeah. in the Classic WoW community to some degree. Um, but it does seem like most people are optimistic at least, which is a sure. good thing, especially these days. But now I want to sort of segue and give my perceived pros and cons in regards to the very controversial or okay. perhaps divisive, definitely experimental Season yeah. of Discovery so we can and start- And that's, I think, the key word that people have to keep in mind with Season of Discovery. Experimental. They're trying new things out. They don't know if these are going to work. That's why they're trying them. Sort of break things down, and I want to start off with the pros, the good things about Season of Discovery, that uh, maybe you're not, if you're super negative about it, maybe these are going to kind of change your mind. So <clears throat> I do think that between all of the new runic abilities and time-gated level caps, new metas will most certainly develop 100%. that we have never experienced before. If you think back to the classic, uh, the classic WoW beta, or maybe the demo that we got yeah. after BlizzCon, this is in 2019. I'm really... Um, there were some really cool metas, like there was a level 30 meta, a level 19 meta, a level yeah. 40 meta on the classic WoW beta in 2019 oh, yeah. that we had never played before. Like, who whoever had twinked a character at level 30 or a level 40? And right. so there was some really cool emergent gameplay. People were sort of figuring out how to play the game in a way that has never really been done before, which is what we will be doing on Season of Discovery. Is that yeah. fun? Yeah, for some time it is but that's most certainly one of the pros. Talent specializations that have historically oh. been terrible might have a chance at being- Very accurate picture. Being viable. And so we're talking- Very we're talking, accurate. We're talking our Boomkins, we're talking our Ret Paladins, mm -hmm. we're talking our Prot Paladins, maybe we're talking our Affliction Warlocks, we're most certainly talking about our Shadow Priests. Yeah. Now these talent specializations, these sort of meme specs, as we have colloquially called them, now they stand a chance. And it's all speculation. No one really knows our warrior is going to be good. Our shadow priest is going to be the best class in the game. Our warlock tank is going to be awesome. Or are they going to be the worst tank actually and no one's going to bother playing them? No, we don't know. Be warlocks. Here's the thing about warlocks. Warlocks are the best class in the game. So it would make sense that if you add new functionality to warlocks, it will only make them more powerful. It's hard to tell just by looking at the at the new runic abilities, you can't really parse that out just by reading. You know what I hope they do is I hope they add in new dungeons because like, and I'm not saying I want Mythic Plus and Classic, I don't, but I just want like a couple of dungeons maybe added at level 60 that are more challenging. And I don't even care if they don't drop gear. I just think it'd be cool to do, right? Maybe they drop cosmetics or something like that. Reading about it on paper, I think you need to kind of get your hands on yeah. it to figure out what's going to be good and what's not going to be good. And of course, Blizzard has said that there will be no PTR and there will be no beta for this because they want mm -hmm. to sort of maintain some of the mystery or the mystique Eww. in regards to these servers. Exciting. So this could be either pretty good class balance or it could be the worst class balance of all time. It couldn't be worse than the actual game. It's probably going to be garbage. It will be. It's going to be garbage. It's going to be completely broken. But, I mean, let's say it's bad class balance with all these new runic abilities once everyone is level 25 and they've acquired all their runes, that is. Was vanilla WoW balanced ever anyway? No, it wasn't. I no. think not. So, it's like, well, are you really losing anything? It's just going to be unbalanced it's a in a different, different way balance, yeah. now. Maybe at worst. So, okay, whatever. We'll give it a go. Um, between the retrofitted raids being introduced and the additional PvP systems, we do have some amount of new, never-before-played content. Who here can yeah. say that they've done 10-man Black Fathom Deeps, that they've, that they've farmed their best-in-slot gear from 10-man Black Fathom Deeps in the new mm -hmm. retrofitted raid? I can't say that I have, so is that going to be fun? Probably a couple times. How long is that fun going to last? I don't know. We're going to talk... Probably a week. I think it'll be about a week. Uh, what I'll do is I'm going to level a Warlock first, and then after I level the Warlock, I'm going to level a Warrior about that in a minute. New PvP content, they're turning Ashen Vale into a PvP zone. When you're level 25, you can get a 50% speed mount, mm -hmm. and you can ride that around while you're PvPing in Ashen Vale exclusively. Yeah, that's cool. That's unique. I've never done sure. that before. Maybe that's going to be fun. How repeatable is that fun? How long is that sense of fun going to last? I don't know. We'll talk about that. Probably not that long. Also, Blizzard has come out and said that if Season of Discovery is successful, they might continue to create new content for Classic WoW. 
Well, it will be. Obviously, it will be. I think that we all know that people are excited for some idea of Classic Plus. Yeah, it's not Classic anymore. It's just a new game using Classic Era models and, and zones. Well, like, I mean, you can say that... I think that what they should do... So... This... I'll, I'll draw a graph, okay? Uh, this is Classic. And this is Season of Discovery, okay? And I think that they should go to about, like, right here. But in order to go to right here, you have to find out where right here is, don't you? So I think what they should do is they should use Season of Discovery as kind of like a testing grounds to see which changes really resonate with players and then implement them on a longer form server. Like, it, it's effectively like the beta test for Classic Plus begins on the 30th this month. That's how you should look at Season of Discovery. Season of Discovery is the beta test for Classic Plus. Okay, so they said that they're open to the idea. In fact, they mm -hmm. even sort of wink, wink, nudge, nudged. A little leak, I guess. Blizzard came out and kind of revealed that they're cute. considering doing a No Muragon raid, yeah. a Scarlet Crusade raid, and a Karazhan Crypts raid, yes. which everyone is super excited about. So those are the pros. Okay, this is but potentially could be some new uh, exciting content. Yeah. Let's talk about the cons. Things like rogue tanks, mage healers, paladin DPSers... Mm -hmm. These are very foreign ideas in regards to Vanilla WoW. They are. Uh, or at least the traditional Vanilla WoW experience that many people have come to know and love over the last 19 or 20 years. Vanilla WoW came out 19 years ago. Oh my god. That means you and I are getting old. And so... And also another factor is that all of the archetypes in the game are classic obvious archetypes. Hunters are exactly what you would expect a ranger to be. Uh, rogues are exactly what you would expect a rogue to be. Who can tank? The guys with plate armor and a bear. Yeah. Right? So, like, everything makes sense intuitively with Classic WoW. These are sort of very foreign ideas in regards to how Vanilla WoW normally mm -hmm. regularly plays, and it's possible that these ideas might end up, or this new sort of gameplay approach, in regards to Classic WoW, it might just be a little bit too foreign, a little bit too weird. It might deviate yeah. from what people know and love about Vanilla WoW. Right. And people might try it out. Say, they say, ah, this is not Vanilla WoW as I love it. Mm -hmm. It's not for me. Yeah, sure. That could entirely happen. It might be too different. There might be too many changes, right? A mage healer, a rogue tank, a paladin that Hola. actually can do DPS. That's yeah. insane. That's insane. That's crazy business, okay? So who knows? Uh, I also yeah, I think that's a bit I think it's a bit much personally. I think they should have just given Paladin's taunt. But you know, I think that again, like I I, I think it's too much, but I wanna learn that it's too much, if that makes sense. Worried that if all the content that we're getting is retro is is a new retrofitted raid, sort of rehashed dungeons in a way mm -hmm. and some new world PvP content every couple months, we might end up running out of things to do really really quickly quickly meaning the servers yeah, might die due to just lack of content how fun is the level 25 pvp meta going to be it could either be really fun and everyone loves it and it's the best thing ever or i don't know i've been there i tried that i did it for two days and now i'm bored and i want to go back to playing hardcore wow or i want to go back to playing classic era or i'm going to go log into my drakthir and just have some fucking like weird stuff in Goldshire with like a uh, Volpira. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, exactly. And uh, it's, a, it's the face of an average Dragonflight player, guys. And uh, anyway, yeah, I mean, I think this is definitely a factor. It absolutely is. And um, they should probably expect that players will want to play about two characters on average. I'd say 1.5 to two characters on average. And then make content after that. Go do a Mythic Plus dungeon instead. That most certainly is not going to happen. But yeah. you get my point, okay? So I'm worried about a lack of content. Mythic That's Plus. what I'm worried about. I also think that in regards to developer time, uh -huh. it seems maybe I'm misunderstanding something. The Classic Wild developers are spending time developing 
Black Fathom Deep's level 2510 man raid that is only going to have a shelf life for two months or maybe two and a half months before yeah. they increase the level cap up to 40. That's a concern 50, for me as well. And then to 50, uh, and then to 60. And then those those raids, those new retrofitted raids that they spent time anymore. developing are now, why would you ever go back and do them, right? You're not gonna- Well, as long as they have quests that give good rewards, then people will do them. But they need to give good rewards for leveling. And that means they need to give very good experience. And I think that they should, they might scale up. I don't think they should scale anything. Classic is not about scaling. And world buff, yeah, there is that too. People level alts, yeah. I don't want to see them scale. Them, you're not going to, and so I, maybe I'm misunderstanding something like I said, but I'm questioning, is this a good way for the developers to be spending their time in regards to making new, fun, exciting content for Classic Plus? Or is this, is this a bad way to spend their developer time? And they always talk about how time is a resource and they have very limited developmental time in the Classic Web Studio. So is making content that it is only going to be relevant for two months at most, is that a good way to spend that time? I don't know, I'm concerned about lack of content. If Season of Discovery's success, moving on, if Season of Discovery's success is the metric being used to determine whether or not Classic Plus content should be developed in the future, mm -hmm. maybe things don't bode that well for Classic Plus. And the reason I say that is because considering how experimental and deviant Classic Discovery, Season of Discovery is going to be, I'm worried that if it's too experimental and it fails, then maybe the Classic... Ooh, that was a bad video. Oh, jeez. Ooh. Oh, remember that? That was bad. Jesus. Classic Wild developers are going to say, well, because no one really gave a crap about Season of Discovery. We released it. No one liked it. Now we have inferred that no one wants Classic Plus. If Classic Season of Discovery is to be their litmus test for the desire to play Classic Plus in the future. And so... I, I will say, I don't really think that Season of Discovery is what a lot of people had in mind in regards to Classic Plus. Um, I think also, like, one thing that we don't take into account is that there's probably a lot of Classic Andes that are level 32. The same as there was back in 2006. And a lot of those Classic Andes that are level 32... Like, they're not... Like, adding a new raid after Nax Ramos isn't important to them because they're not even level 60. Like, they don't even give a shit. It's not going to affect them. So I think for that fo them focusing on adding more content for, like, that mid-range of players is probably a good idea. Now, is that all they should focus on? No. And I think there is a tremendous, huge community of people that are level 60. But there is always that group of people that are uh you know lower level and it would make sense that you would do the experimental content at lower levels or at least that's what i would expect personally i'm sort of on the fence about season of discovery i'm going to play it i'm going to give it a go but i yeah. will be honest with you guys when i think of classic plus sticks. i think of some yeah. tasteful class rebalancing in the spirit of vanilla wow and to a little bit be, mm -hmm. be a little bit more articulate when i say that by the way, I completely agree with Stay Safe on this. I think the changes are too far. I was not expecting mage healers. I was yeah. not expecting rogue tanks. I was not expecting paladins to have wind fury. Um, I was not expecting uh, warlocks to be taking raids or taking dungeons. These are a little. It's like it's like whoa. It's huge. That's like a splash of cold water in your Massive. face. I'm not saying that I'm going to hate it, but it wasn't exactly what I was expecting when I'm talking about Classic Plus. Um, yeah. And so. Like I said, a little bit of tasteful uh, class rebalancing or talent tree tuning in order to bring up some of those meme specs. I'm not saying yeah. invent. I'm not saying invent new meme specs. I'm saying, <laughs> like maybe mage healer or something. I'm saying, bring up some of the meme specs that were not really viable in original vanilla, original classic. Okay, that makes sense to me. In yeah, if there's a talent that nobody uses, change the talent, for sure. My vanilla andy my classic andy brain also new leveling zones new leveling dungeons new end game zones new end game dungeons i think that's a pretty good place to start i think that's a pretty just like basic classic plus way to start 
see if people like it or not. Give us a new level 30 to 40 leveling zone. <laughs> give us a new level 25 dungeon. Give us a new level 60 dungeon. Give us a new level 60 end game farming zone with maybe um, high density resources. Yeah, or, that'd be really or cool. Or it's like a world like PvP high zone with high density resources. Or I, I don't know, right? I think those are all sort of low, low hanging fruits dangling off the tree of Classic Plus that are big no-brainers in my mind that I saw a lot of people talking about. And what the Classic WoW dev team was, they cut down that tree and they grew their own tree with rogue tanks and, and yeah. mage healers. And so, I don't know, that new tree might be awesome. But it most certainly was not a fruit being plucked from the tree that I was expecting. I can say that. That's exactly the way that I feel. Uh, I, I completely fucking agree. I, I think that they've, like, adding in, like, a mage tank and, like, a warlock, uh, a mage healer, a warlock tank, and a rogue tank. Like, these are fundamental, massive deviations from, like, the base game. And I do think that it's, like, not really, like, classic at all. And, again, like, I, I, I say this 50 times, but, like, that doesn't mean that I won't try it. It just simply means that I am, con these are my concerns going into it. And I think that Classic WoW, a lot of the things that Classic WoW does very well, I think that these changes indicate that the developers might not fully understand why at least I think it does them well. For example, like why players socialize out in the open world is because they can't heal as a mage. It's because they can't tank as a warlock. It's because they can't heal as a warrior. So if you can do all of those things, that socialization becomes less important. So I think they should try everything. Throw all the shit at the wall, see if all the shit sticks. But my expectation is that this will fundamentally change the game in a big way. And I, I don't necessarily think it will be a good thing. But I don't know. That to be sincere. So... Part of me does feel like the changes of Season of Discovery are sort of out of left field. Yeah. Like I've said. And of yeah. course, this is anecdotal, but I didn't really see anyone asking for any of the changes being introduced in Season of Discovery prior to its announcement at BlizzCon a couple days ago. So, I'm sort of apprehensive. Of course I'm going to play it. Of course we're going to go hard. And yeah. I want to go into it with an open mind. I'm ready to have fun. I want to have fun. But it's not what I was expecting. And I'd be lying if I said otherwise. So, I really want to hear what you guys have to say about this. I'm very curious. This is a big conversation, right? Because the future of Season of Discovery, we know, is going to dictate the future of Classic Plus. Okay? Absolutely. That is what we've He's been told right. by the Classic Plus. 100%. Web team, so. Please let me know what you think. Make yourself vocal and make yourself heard. Drop a comment, drop a like on the video, subscribe please while you're here, and go share the video with your friends so we can gather as much feedback as we possibly can. Thank you all for watching. Somebody is saying we're being negative. I want to make sure that this is very understood. I'm super excited and happy about Classic Plus and Season of Discovery. I'm just offering feedback because I'm passionate about it. I'm super positive about this. I'm just offering passionate feedback and concern. That's it. And as always, stay safe. From my understanding, they want feedback about SOD? Yeah, I think they do want feedback. And I, I feel like the feedback I'm providing, I, I think that this is good feedback. I'll read some of the comments. Like, for example, like, this is something that I think matters. Classic WoW makes sense. Mages can't tank. Mages just do mage things. They cast fireballs. Warlocks summon demons and cast shadow balls. Priests heal. Um, shamans can, you know, resurrect people. Like, every class in World of Warcraft in Classic WoW makes sense. Its existence makes sense. Like, you can, and in like a very abstract way, either those classes exist in real life, or they exist in mythological creations of real life. Like, uh, Merlin is like a mage, but he's, you know, it's like, is Merlin real or not? It probably wasn't casting fireballs, but that's kind of thing. You've seen warriors, right? You've seen a guy, a guy with a sword and a shield. You've seen somebody with a bow and an arrow. You know, these are classic fantasy tropes 
that intuitively makes sense to any person that is a normal person, right? Like you can easily assume the shamans, like shamans have totems in real life. Like you go to like some native tribe shaman and they're probably gonna cast a couple of spells that could be in the spell book, you know? Like they try to, uh, you know, like farsight, you know, be able to see into the, into the past or be able to turn into, uh, you know, a wolf or something like that. Chain lightning, not so much, but, um, you know, other stuff, absolutely. And healing, right? Healing, think about healing. And uh, just purify, cleanse toxins, shit like that. Yeah, exactly. Rain dance, yeah. I feel like they went super deep in development when season making season discovery over the last six months as they saw they want for classic plus my tinfoil hat idea is the level cap is there to buy them time to make it to where they can actually integrate the classic plus uh, aspect in the higher in the level yeah i think so too and um i i feel like also like a big reason is because they want to uh they just want to see what happens right they're using us as the beta testers they said oh well we're not going to have any beta test yes you are it begins on the 30th like, you have no fucking idea how this stuff is going to work. And you want to have it be low level, so it's low stakes if it's bad. That's what I think. And it's smart. I would do that I would do that if I was them, too. They're, they're doing the right decision. People overreact about Tank Warlocks. I remember people wanting that ever since Demon Form was a thing. Yeah, but Demon Form was a thing in, like, Wrath of the Lich King. And, like, personally, I would be okay if Warlocks could go into Demon Form, but I don't think that they should be tanks. Because it doesn't really make sense. Like, I, I don't I don't think it makes sense. Maybe it does. Like, why? I don't know. I just don't... I don't find it intuitive to... to I don't find it intuitive to a layman. In the same way that a hunter is intuitive to a layman. I don't know. Like, that... It, I... Yeah, I don't know what to say. They did tank a Illidan phase in BC, but it was niche. Oh, they did that in uh, Serpent Shrine Caverns on Leotheris the Blind, too. Yeah, no, you're right. Valid, your intuition counts. Yeah, I think it does. I, I really do. And, like, the good thing about Classic WoW is a lot of things in Classic WoW make sense. So, like, I I'll give you some examples. Okay. Things in WoW... That makes sense. Classes. Advantages. Disadvantages. And what I mean by makes sense... Makes sense equals... Someone who has a general cultural understanding of fantasy could intuit these things naturally. It, it makes sense. Um, another thing. Uh, gear. Gear breaks. Uh, after time. This makes sense. Um, this is so wrong and biased on your own background, Asmon. Of course it's biased on my own background. That's why I said a general cultural understanding. Cultural is based off of a person's background. That's my point. Um, you die from fall damage. Um, priest teal. Actually, I, that's already classes. Professions. Goblin versus Gnomish Engineering. Like, for example, Goblin is riskier, but it can pay off more. Gnomish is safer, but it doesn't have as many crazy effects. You eat for health. Well, think about things that are, like, exclusive to Classic WoW. Um, oh. You have to stand still to shoot an arrow as a hunter. You have to stop moving for a second to shoot an arrow. Now, can you shoot an arrow while running? Yes. Is it going to be accurate? Probably fucking not. Pet needs to be out of combat for you to feed it. Rogue, stealth, 
and stealth detection. I think this makes intuitive sense. Combat dead zone? I would argue that combat dead zone is one of the things that doesn't make sense. There is no functional reason why between five and eight yards, a hunter can't do anything. Like in real life, you would just shoot the arrow at the person that was seven yards away, right? Like, actually, I would say that one doesn't make sense. Uh, armor types, you're right. Armor types and the classes and the classes that use them. Block and parry from the front. Learning weapons. Yep, weapon skill. And so I, I can go back and talk a, little, a lot more about these, but I hope you guys can, can... Can you guys kind of see what I'm saying, right? About how a lot of things in Classic WoW make intuitive sense. Now, there are a lot of things that don't. Like, resistances. Yes, resistances make sense. Uh, limited pack space. Yes. Stay Safe's video is just dooming? No, it wasn't. And I can guarantee you that probably the Classic team really appreciates these videos. I, I bet they do. Like, they want this type of feedback. And that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to just, like, listen to what we're saying and be like, oh, okay, we're wrong. Well, no. But, like, they want to hear what we have to say. And so I'm saying this as a person who is excited about Season of Discovery. I'm going to play Season of Discovery. But that doesn't come with no concerns. So I have hit level 35. And... McConnell started playing last night. I think we might be doing some dungeons together kind of soon. 